Well, here it is. I've finally have gotten um, Debian 8 to be upgraded to Debian testing. So from Jesse to testing. And I specifically did it in a way that it's going to be testing no matter what code name testing is in the hopes and this never works out for me I always have some knock on wood <laughs> some kind of meltdown with Debian and I try so hard because I have this idea in my mind that Debian is better it's like a, a romantic ideal or something it's not really you know, some people say it's true, but I think it's more of just uh, an ideal and sticking with the underdog and sticking with the original, what the base for the likes of Ubuntu or Linux Mint and others, you know, the, the base uh, of those systems, that's Debian. But, you know, we'll see because I every time... I've had some problem here or there which uh, would lead me back to using Ubuntu. Ubuntu that, you know, people can say what they want, but Ubuntu often often does work well simply because it is more of a corporate thing. Uh, you know, for instance, in Debian testing, I've already found there's things that, um, as with Debian stable, there's things that can't be um, programs that can't be had, software that can't be had uh, compared to Ubuntu. And may, it may be it goes vice versa, and I don't know, but the, the software I'm looking for, uh, one thing is, for instance, apparently uh, the program Krita, the painting program Krita, didn't get uh, moved up into the testing um, repository so that the you can't really get it in testing unless you were to I suppose I could build it myself but I don't I don't really want to do that it doesn't matter so much because there's other programs that I can use to replace that such as my paint and, and perhaps some other things and, and also there's a program called mix which needs a certain uh, piece or part library or what have you in order to work in uh, Debian all of Debian, as far as I can tell, testing or stable or otherwise. So there are these things, but nonetheless, I'm glad I finally figured it out, and it wasn't easy. Uh, if I think about it, when I put this video up, I'll put a link to instructions of how to upgrade from Jesse to testing. The only thing I can say from my experience, the little that I... The, the mystery that it is, the little that I understand, it's a mysterious process to me, is that you have to do it early. You have to do it before you really load up your system with too many programs. The closer to a base install you are, the easier it's going to be and the better off you're going to be um, when, you do, when you do upgrade not really all that extremely hard basically you just change all your sources from um you know from jesse in the sources list and you have to do that with a, a text editor uh you know with uh, privileges to do it you know so the the idea is you just change all the all the sources from jesse to testing and you will always be tracking testing no matter what testing is, you'll never have to upgrade really again because it'll automatically be be tracking um, testing no matter what. Um, there's a few other things, but I won't make this video too long. For instance, if you come across something that looks like a problem or an error message, it, often it's just a question. And if you hit Q, which is quit, generally you can go ahead with the installation and not bother with that but don't <laughs> don't just take my word for it you can find this if you look it up on online and what was the other thing well it might tell you that you need to stop uh instances of like uh x screensaver and things like that 
I don't know. You might be able just to hit OK and it would do just the same. I ended up stopping the least screensaver, I think, but I don't know if I stopped something else that was asking me. And I think that uh, from what I've read, if you hit OK, it should just continue on anyway and, and upgrade your system. But um, that's also something to be aware of. All right, so hopefully I didn't jinx myself by making this video. Often I feel like when I make a video, a Linux video for YouTube, I'm jinxing the system that I'm talking about that I just um, figured out. Um, the only other thing people should know is that even in Debian, especially in Debian stable, but even in Debian testing, some of the software still is, is older. I think. Oh, I think Ubuntu follows testing mainly from what I'm told, but it still seems like some of the software is not as new. All right. I guess uh, for the time being, I will just leave it there. This is already going to be long enough.